Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is going to be a Taurus reading for December 31st, 2022 to January 6th, uh, 2023. You versus them for the week. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours. Leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Uh, we also had Mars uh, going to retrograde, Mercury going to retrograde, Jupiter and Saturn went direct. Uh, we had a lunar eclipse in Taurus. That's the last eclipse of 2022, obviously. And the last eclipse um, and lunar eclipse until 2025. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we also have um, that full moon in Gemini, that new moon in Capricorn. And then on January 6th, we have a new moon in Cancer, which is going to be very clearing for a lot of us. So we have a lot of things happening, like astrology-wise, um, energy that's kind of affecting us. But see, it looks like here there's going to be some sort of truth that comes to light for you guys, Taurus. One last shot. Well, December thirty-first to January sixth, twenty twenty-two. Okay, so truth, prosperity begins, and rejoice in celebration. So I feel like, um, yeah, someone's going to come together and tell the truth, you know, and that's going to allow like brand new beginnings where there's more prosperity. It's like the seeds have been planted because someone could be taking accountability, taking ownership. Um, I feel like this is something that you could have been waiting for, someone to wake up and change. And this, I feel like there's a lot of desires between you two, a lot of lust, a lot of attraction, but with that rest and rejuvenance and crown chakra, you guys could very much just be... Um, kind of not reacting i feel like there's really no movement here there's a desire but i feel like where you guys are at is exactly where you guys are supposed to be um this person here i feel like you could be kind of waiting for them to come forward or it's like you're waiting for them to change to just be different but i feel like this person here it's like um they're having a hard time with this connection and i feel like it's because it's waking them up spiritually as well we do have two 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 and two here so that's four twos. So a lot of you guys could be seeing two, two, two. Um, yeah, see, I feel like you're you're waiting for this person to speak up to you. Um, and I feel like you're not really doing anything. It's like you're waiting for this person to say how they feel, to open up, to be honest with you. And I feel like that will change everything. Of course, I feel like you're, you would change for them if they could just be honest. Like, you know, maybe you would participate more in the relationship and stuff like that. I feel like um, you guys try not to, like both of you guys could have a lack mentality where both of you guys feel like, oh, you guys should have been more off, like more well off. This person um, should have done more for me, even like wishing you were farther in life type of thing. And um, I feel like that's just some realizations that you guys could be having in this time that you guys are alone. You know, it's like you guys right now are in this space where you guys are just going to be making sacrifices, making decisions in your lives. I feel like this person, you know, again, they could be having a hard time with this connection. Um, maybe even a hard time seeing you like connect with someone else or having a hard time ba balancing out their masculine and feminine energy. And I feel like, you know, um, they need to learn from their past experiences and also being more victorious and being independent. Because this person could be very codependent when it comes to you. See, I feel like if this person could just speak the truth and wake up. Like, you guys would move forward in this positive... Um, in this, like, move forward in a positive direction. I just feel like this person has some sort of issue being honest. Or it's like... Um, you know, they're not realizing the truth about the situation. You know, they could be blaming you even. Or they're not realizing uh, their faults in their own actions. So, Taurus. December 31st to January 6th. But I feel like um, all you guys want, both of you guys, is to know the truth. You know, to be in your truth. For someone to speak up, King of Swords. And two of wands. Yeah, for someone to make a choice and speak up. We have the ace of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for this person to tell you how they feel. To um, clear up the confusion for you. 
I feel like, you know, you're wait like the more you get more in tune with yourself, you're becoming more aligned and being at peace. Like you're waking up to your own emotional fulfillment. Meanwhile, I feel like um you're waiting for this situation to change. I feel like this person could fight with you a lot. Especially in this week, it's like you could be like not sure if maybe you should change the situation. But again, I feel like there's some sort of waiting for truth here on your side. Um, we do have one one there. I feel like if this this person you can have a family with or it's like you wanted a future or a family with them. Um, I feel like you do miss this person. You still care about them with that six of cups. Uh, could be a past person there. Um, it could be like a childhood sweetheart or someone that your child self feels safe with. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Libra, or any uh, also an Aries or like someone you have kids with, a baby daddy even. Um, any sign for that matter, really. But I feel like this person here, it's like they know that they need to become the best versions of themselves or you're going to walk away. You know, with that Four of Swords, I feel like this person is doing a lot of introspection and working on having a lot of unconditional love for you um, and also for themselves. You know, they're balancing that masculine energy, um, that feminine energy as well. With this Emperor here, they could have had a lot of distorted uh, masculine energy. You know, it's like if this was like a woman, they could have been kind of more in their masculine energy. If this is like a man, um, he could have just been like very... Um, not the best, right? <laughs> because with this uh, Emperor card here, I feel like walking away, getting more spiritually in tune to be the best version of themselves, to be, you know, the Emperor. Uh, I feel like this person is wanting another chance. You know, they're realizing the opportunities and the blessings. And, you know, it's like they're being humbled in a way um, the more that they spend alone. You know, this could be a mother and a father this person is dealing with. Um, that could be giving them a hard time as well. But I feel like they're working on themselves because of the love you have for them. Uh, on your side with this Wheel of Fortune, you know, I feel like things are going to get better for you. You know, you're waking up to your peace and you're going to get everything that you want with that Nine of Cups, Six of Wands. That's victory, that's success, and the Sun card, that's happiness. You know, right now this could just be in your head. Um, where it's like you're trying to be happy in your thoughts, you're recognizing what you want, and you're being victorious. But I feel like you've claimed your power back in a lot of way. It looks like you guys are going to be talking. Right now it could be stagnant, but with that Page of Swords, there's a lot of spying going on between both of you. It's like even though things, um, you know, have ended, there's still this desire, this attachment with that Devil card and the Sacred Chakra and the Ten of Swords. And, you know, there's still an attachment, there's still a desire um, it could even be like you guys are almost haunted by the past, both of you guys, because both of you guys have regrets here that you guys are healing. So I feel like right now where you guys are at, even if there's no movement or very, very little communication, maybe even just one message, um, it's exactly where you guys are supposed to be with that crown chakra. So just know that. Um, I also feel like, yeah, see this person... They're learning to come from a place of love, you know, to have more unconditional love because I feel like this person could have been kind of negative where it's like, oh, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. You're not. And they could have even always tried to sell you like some sort of sob story in a little bit or it's like um, a victim mentality. There you go. Um, like they wanted you to feel bad for certain things. And I feel like they're they're barely waking up to the truth, you know, like as to why this connection has failed or and it's because they haven't been very independent emotionally, like they could have been a little bit codependent or like um, they just had a lot of expectations for you. But I feel like someone's going to be reaching out again. It could just be a message uh, like like a happy new year type of message with the star card. Um, so this person is healing their unhappiness. You know, I feel like they're a little bit negative based. This person could be younger than you, someone you have kids with, um, someone a little bit immature. But I feel like, you know, they're healing the fact that they're closed off. You know, they could have been a little bit like in their distorted masculine energy. I feel like you guys are also ending a lot of the toxicity, a lot of the like lust, the desires. What is the devil card? 
What is the devil card? This is the devil card. Thank you. Um, in the past, there could have been a lot of, again, expectations, a lot of someone being impatient. Uh, with the chariot card, yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be ending a lot of things and moving forward. Because you guys are very much attached to each other. It could be a cancer as well. Um, but also, it's like moving forward from the toxicity and the, uh, the fact that you guys could have been kind of on and off even. Well, this was the Ace of Cups. So, what is the Ace of Swords kind of pentacles for us? Yeah, so you guys are going to be moving very quickly with someone here. Um, if they could kind of, you know, work on themselves, do that introspection to be that, uh, to be a better person for our cups. I mean, this might be something you have to wait a little bit for, though, because this person is still like, oh, what should I do? This person also is going back and forth from being open to holding back. And um, I feel like at the same time, it's like um, they want a relationship with you, but they're used to being very independent. Or it's like you guys are quick to cut each other off. And that could be a fear of theirs. Like you guys are quick to be like, oh, well, just forget it. Maybe we shouldn't do this then. And um, with the tower, I feel like this person doesn't really want to be alone anymore. You know, they're having a hard time with this connection. With the Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, they're going to speak up. They definitely are going to open up and speak their mind. And you guys are both going to have to, like, if you guys want this to work, which it looks like you guys do, uh, moving forward, it's like both of you guys are going to have to be putting in effort. With that Knight of Pentacles, that's effort. It's also like taking things day by day. And then we have the three of pentacles that fell on the floor. Um, and it's going to be a partnership. This could be more of a business partnership. Or it's like, it's more of a physical thing at first. Like, oh, okay, like, um, move in together. Who's going to cook? Who's going to clean? Uh, like, responsibility-wise. And again, this could be hard for you. Where you're not sure whether or not you should work on this connection. Whether or not um, you still want this. You see, death card, nine of swords. Um... But I feel like, you know, those could be worries here that are slowly going to be changing for you. You see the Hierophant could be a Taurus as well. Uh, that death card we saw could be a Scorpio. Where it's like just a lot of lessons have been learned. Uh, what's so, can Taurus, there you go, I was going to ask. So there is is transformations happening in this person's ability to open up or... The fact that you guys are both very closed off. And it's because of this distance here. Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups. That's the Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups. But some of you guys could be leaving a relationship behind. Um, it's also for another relationship, Ace of Cups. But I feel like it's also just the um, the end of not being sure. Two of Pentacles upside down. I feel like, again, you guys are going to be coming together. This is going to be some... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is going to be something you have wanted. Was this person to be honest with you for things to change? Um, I feel like in the past, you did a lot for this person. You spent a lot of time, money. You put in a lot of effort. Uh, so this is someone you have a little bit of history with from what it feels like. It just looks like their cycles closing out that are going to change everything. And this could be something that you've been waiting for. Things to get better between you and a person. Um, this relationship to get better. You probably weren't even sure if you should keep entertaining it. You could find it kind of like a burden or very difficult. Um, but I feel like there's going to be major changes in the distance. You know, you guys are going to be coming together. Yes, you guys may fight. Um, but it looks like this person is working on being better, period. So let me pick all this up. And then what else do we have for Taurus for the week? December 31st to January 6th, 2022. See, authority. It's like this person likes to learn things the hard way. Could be with you. Could be with just like life in general. Taurus. For the week. See, positive movement forward. But overall, I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward. Especially once this person opens up and starts speaking their mind more. Um, I feel like there's just a lot of fears here. Um, about confidence. It's like you guys could affect each other's confidence in a way because you guys care so much about each other. 
And then here on your side, it's like, um, you, you know, I just feel like you're waiting, you know, and you're trying to see if this person's going to change, if this person's going to wake up, make a move. Um, so I feel like you're kind of just like, you don't know where this person is at. So how they are, if they speak up, you know, if they could be honest, if they could realize the truth of everything, I feel like then this whole situation will change. So with that Nine of Cups and that Chariot here, I feel like you guys are going to be getting that. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Uh, please take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Happy New Year's, guys. Bye.